Continue to have the creative freedom to either write about the news or um, our creative aspects and you know, our heart's desires. Like, what what would a world be without them? Um, yeah, it's it's pretty dang important. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. Sure. This event means so much to me because I think PEN America is a great organization and I brought my constitution which I take with me everywhere, even this fits in the clutch. Um, and the First Amendment is my commodity, but it's really everywhere's commodity. I mean, freedom of speech, of course, but it's also freedom of expression, freedom of assembly. So we're going through it upside down. It's like the, the show Stranger Things and we're in the upside down or we're in some sort of inverse universe right now that I'm not happy with. Um, it's not paying attention to this very much. And so I think that groups like this that specifically focus on writers, let's say the Chinese uh, Nobel laureate who has uh, passed away in 2010, but he was imprisoned in China, and Pan America helped his writings get out to the world at the same time. Um, I believe they were with Salman Rushdie during a fatwa which I'm no stranger to. And so, uh, you gotta keep your sense of humor. Uh, I'm gonna make that joke while I can. You never know, we from now there could be a new law, maybe I can't make it. So we're here, we're, I think everybody has the same goal, which is we're fighting what they're fighting. And they're fighting progress, they're not even fighting the status quo. I mean, they just wanna go back to the dark ages. And they weren't so good for most of us. And they can't handle the brown name of America. And they can't handle a woman like me that's loud and has a business. And so I think these events are actually pretty essential to shine a light on a silly, vulgar person like me, an amazing attorney like Ted Boutros, and how we have come together. And at the end of the day, that's the great thing about these organizations, is they do bring people together, even vulgar comics and brilliant attorneys. Uh, distance is good. All right, my question. What does this event mean to you? What does this event mean to you? It means a lot. It means, I mean, I'm honored that, that they would even think of honoring me. And they don't usually give an award to a songwriter. Oh, really? You know, so, yeah, from what I heard. So, yeah, I, it, it's pretty cool. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. That was my question. All right. That was easy. I'm listening. All right, let me just say this. What we do as actors, we cannot do if there's nothing on the page. So, as an actor, I'm always looking for great writing, great scripts, great stories to be told. And, and, and to have it presented in a way that is, is eloquent and powerful and artistic and, and can affect people. So, it can entertain, make you laugh, make you cry, all of those things. But it starts with the written word. So, for us as artists, it's, it's, it's imperative that we have great writers and great writing. This is the pen lit gala. It's, it's everybody from film, from television, it's about the words, but music, television, movies, journalism, this is about the truth, right? And it's about protecting the truth. It's about protecting the integrity of the truth. And that's what this means.